Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it is for March 2021 for the sign of Capricorn. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching oracle cards first. I'm going to pull a few oracle cards and then we will go into the tarot cards. Okay, so what do we have for Capricorn please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Okay, first card is... Face your adversities. I looked at the bottom of the deck actually and I have imagined solutions with that. So that was an interesting one to pick up on. Okay. Okay, Capricorn. So let's pull your message from the Spirit card. What do we have? Angel Spirits Guides. What is the Spirit message for Capricorn? Okay, yeah. Wow. Believe. The force that works through your soul, determining what's possible or impossible, the difference between success over failure and above all who you are is your power, is the power of your belief. So this is about believe in you, soul power, what you're capable of. To overcome something. Find the solutions. Okay. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Capricorn, March 2021. Thank you. Yeah, I love the visionary energy of this. We have number 36, third eye vision. Reclaim your mind. Reclaim your mind. If your mind has been in, term, in negative or focusing on the negative or... Uh, a little bit out of focus here, Capricorn. The message is there will be an opportunity to reclaim your mind. Get the vision. Get clarity of a situation. Okay. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. This is the Archangel deck. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Okay. Okay. We have Kangaroo, be a force for good, Archangels, Rockiel, Gersisa, and Sandalphon. Okay. I mean, it definitely feels like believe that the good will conquer, you know? It definitely feels some kind of good will conquer. You have the ability to conquer something. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is the message from Spirit. The second card is... What the message pertains to third card is final words of advice or action to take remember these are just messages capricorn just messages okay so what do we have they won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you so what do we have for capricorn please angel spirits guides for march 2021 message for our lovely capricorns thank you march 2021 what does Capricorn need to hear? Thank you, angels, spirits, guides. Thank you. So the eight of coins is the message from spirit. Strength. That's where the belief, it's interesting, it's right underneath that belief card. And... The Two of Coins, yeah, Jupiter and Capricorn. Bottom of the deck, we have the Hanging Man. Okay. This Eight of Coins, Capricorn, it can be a card of hard work. Something feeling like it's hard work. You know, that can be an education. It can be the card of the apprenticeships or trying to get apprenticeships. It can be the card of um, educating, learning, you know. So some of you might feel a little bit overwhelmed in that respect. It can also be to do with money, career, finances. The message is focus on what you do well. Do it well. Do one thing at a time. Be methodical. And it's small steps bring giant leaps, you know. This is somebody who is getting the recognition for what they do well. You, some of you might be getting some recognition this month. Some of you might be getting some material gain this month by just doing what you do well. 
if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed in terms of money career business the message is one thing at a time slowly but surely you know it wins you know is is how you win you know how you bring positive change and interestingly what i'm seeing is two eights here the eights in tarot are all about change but also about mastery so if something is a lot of hard work you know can be a card of groundhog day um you know feeling you know repetitive you know repetitive tasks and anything but it, it can be a card of also uh, skills development i mean some of you might be trying to better yourselves but it's hard work like i said it can be in education internships apprenticeships it can be in terms of money and career here the message is you have an opportunity to just focus do things practically focus do one thing at a time move on to the next thing and that's how you bring again how you master the situation you deal with it in small bite-sized chunks and that's how the the success the gain the recognition is achieved so i like the energy for that reason in whatever context this is capricorn it feels for me that there is an opportunity to master something bring positive change by small steps bring giant leaps you know it's that kind of energy it's where you need your strength now where you're focusing something's hard work because when we have the strength card it is a card of where you're challenged so you might be facing some adversity because that's when we find our strength that's when we find our power i definitely get this energy of this will be the making of you capricorn because you know the strength card is about tapping in discovering your own power within you you know but discovering who you are believing in who you are um to overcome any challenge to find solutions around adversities that you're facing some of you might be bettering yourself again getting qualifications professional qualifications if it's challenges in terms of jobs money career you might be learning a new skill set even you know or adding a new skill set to your repertoire or business or whatever but there's definitely an energy of yeah stay strong you know you are strong enough to deal with this and when you're in your strength you will have the courage to overcome any adversity that you face but it's the small steps bring giant leaps that is the big thing here and that's how you grapple with the situation there's a feeling of being overwhelmed with the two of pentacles but remember capricorn this is your energy this is something that will be the making of you jupiter in capricorn there's definitely an energy of expansion growth good things want to come into your life even though you feel overwhelmed in a situation even though this person is juggling and cycling at the same time they're not dropping anything it is something that is well within your ability to deal with it's how you're dealing with the situation and and adapting you know adapting maybe practically adapting to the situation that you're involved in to bring that expansion and growth into your life so there's a definite energy of yet yeah, this feels overwhelming but you are strong enough know your strength spirit is telling you you are strong enough to work through this and deal with this master it and bring positive change i love the hanging man appearing here because the hanging man is looking at something in a different way we go through many hanging man stages in our lives periods of limbo that could be down to health reasons health reasons can sometimes even affect work um, can be down to changes in terms of money career business can be in terms of relationship changes um, you know all sorts of different things so the hanging man is that period of limbo that we get when we go through one of those areas where it gives us the reflection that we need the time that we need to really see look at something differently and even view unconsidered options open up to unconsidered opportunities or avenues forward that will bring solutions to our problem that will give us the way forward and the hanging man is how the universe aligns us 
the inspiration, the light bulb moment of, oh my goodness, why didn't I think about this before, you know? It's that kind of energy of looking at something in a different way because there is real illumination when the hanging man appears. And it's illumination on a way forward that will help you bring mastery and change to the situation. And that's why you're being told to reclaim your mind. You know, you sometimes see the halo around the hanged man's head because there is some kind of vision or solution or way forward that the universe is showing you here that is open to you. A solution. Good things want to come into your life, you know, this kind of energy. You have the ability to deal with the situation. But there is definitely some kind of illusion looking at something in a different way and finding the way forward. Because for some of you, this is also about adapting. The illumination of how you need to adapt now and move forward in your life to bring growth and expansion once more. So it feels very, very beautiful. So definitely small steps bring giant leaps. There is an opportunity to master and bring change to your situation, face something and overcome it. There is, you are going through some juggling process, adapting here, but it's well within your capability to deal with. And expansion and growth awaits with that two of coins energy for you, Capricorn, because it's your card. Look at something in a different way, open your mind to all possibilities. For example, if there was an industry that is closed off to you, maybe because of the pandemic. Say, for example, retail is really struggling, isn't it? It certainly is in the UK. How do you transfer those skill sets to other areas? You know, that kind of thing. So it can be just opening your mind. I'm not just saying that's the only reason, but it is that kind of energy of open your mind to all options. The illumination is really coming to you this month. Okay. So I'm going to pull a final card. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Final message for Capricorn. Yeah, we have take control of the situation. We know you can do this. And it's number three. And three is a master number, which is all about manifesting something new and making it happen. So, you know, I love the energy here. We have 36 there, 333. Three. I'm definitely getting this energy of you have an ability to master and change something and manifest something new in your life. And it's, it's a solution that is enlightened, given to you by God, the divine, the universe. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Capricorn. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.